What's going on there guys, this is me Stijo Joseph here with another interesting project but guys this time I will be coming with an easier project that is Bluetooth control home automations but not using an Arduino but using an 8051 microcontroller. So let's start it. As you can see as I press the button the light turns on. The command is sent from the Bluetooth to the HC05 Bluetooth module connected to the 8051 and similarly I turn on the fan by using the other button and you can see the printout is given on the LCD screen so this is a much more simpler project now let's see what is the 8051 microcontroller let's as you can see this is a 40 pin chip and uh, there is no need of this development board actually this 8051 costs just 55 rupees and uh, for making it easy i bought a development board too you can program it much more easy way in usb sb we connect it to the development board and uh, due to its less cost i bought it rather than uh, using arduino which costs more than 250 above so this is an uh, for simpler projects it's better to use uh, simpler microcontrollers like 8051 so let's get into the programming as the circuit diagram i will be giving a link in the description for downloading it as well as the code will be given the github that link also will be given yeah guys let's go get into the coding first as fast as possible so first of all let's uh, write a library for the 8051 so this is a library which contains all the registered data addresses we can easily dereference it and uh, now let's write the port now let's declare uh, k as the port one it's just for easy and uh, similarly i will be redefining the port name that has been rs as p20 as rs and p21 as rp and p22 as enabled these are the ports on the lcd screen that should be connected to the it's row 51 microcontroller so this is the so the port 1 means the data path that is the port 1 will be connected to the data lines of the LCD screen and the T P2.2, 2.1 and 2.0 is the controlling part of the LCD screen it's they are latched actually. Now, now let's define a delay means uh, for writing into the LCD screen and for Bluetooth controls and all we need a delay. So as per your argument uh, you can define the delays. Next we will be doing serial communication means uh, serial communication starting user will be loading um, X0, X50 to the SCON register. Now, now let's go for the command line means uh, we are not loading data we are uh, putting commands like uh, moving the cursor on the LCD so and so. So the defined commands when sent to this function this will be acted this is not for uh, putting data into the LCD. And let's define the part for the putting data into the LCD. So the difference is you can see RS is equal to 1 here and RS is equal to 0 in here. This makes the difference. When RS is equal to 1, it will be for command input and RS is equal to 1, it will be for um, data input. So it varies and acts upon it. So let's do the display. So when we when we are giving a value like um, hello to the display section, the bit will be read by uh, letter by letter. LCD dot it will be sent to the LCD dot TAT. Each letter will be loaded to the K value. Then it will be present on the LCD screen. Then the cursor will be moved. Like that it will be displayed. Now let's um, give an initialization for the LCD screen before even um, writing the command lines just to make it clear that it is working fine now let's define the void main part we will be initializing the LCD screen and, and this is the part when the R1 RI register uh, is uh, not equal to 1 then which means that in the SPF register no data, data is loaded if some data is loaded in it it means it becomes one hence the while loop ends so then star caring data will be loaded to the caring, star caring and we can check whether what type of data it is based on the commands given by us from the bluetooth means from the mobile and we will set the RA register to zero and in net next time when it comes to one it exits the loop 
we should make it zero so let's write the if and else conditions for turning on the fan and lights so it will be like we can give any random variables like if um, if the string variable is equal to one let's turn on the fan and if it is equal to two let's i am giving a a b c and all so that's it if it is a str generated now let's plug in the it's zero five and microcontroller now let's dump the program to it i'm using a progress let's program okay yes yes it's flashing without any problem yes guys fine Uh, hope you like my video if you like my video please press like button and subscribe to my channel next time i will be coming with a much more higher project till then stay tuned bye bye